Hi guys. Okay, so I am getting ready to go outside. Come on, Diesel. Come on. It's cool. I'm gonna put him on the back porch, but if you can hear that, Jay is rotor tilling. Come on. And we are preparing for our fall garden. I think we're gonna plant, I bought a few plants, which you probably would have seen in the last vlog. I bought a few plants the other day, and so um, we're gonna try to get them in, but we have just been cleaning up all of the bigger plants that have kind of like died off from summer and pulling out like some flowers and things and he's tilling up the beds again and then we'll plant the fall garden and then we'll probably once that's done we'll probably like revamp the soil um but yeah i'll show you what we're gonna plant and i'm gonna go get some tools this guy is hanging outside which he doesn't really love that I have some rosemary hanging to dry um but yeah, I'm gonna just bring you along and probably set up the camera so hopefully you can see some of our gardening. Got my tools, got my boots, got my husband, tilling up the garden. <laughs> Sun is so bright. Okay, this is what it's looking like. We pretty much cleaned everything out. Um, except for this is like a little dahlia flower. Or dahlia, whatever. And this is some green onions, which I need to use because they're like falling all over the place. And the celosia, and then we do our herbs over there. But that's about it. This is what we've got. So we just laid everything out where it's gonna go. Now we're gonna plant it. completed all of the planting. Let me show you. All right, so we have iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce. Which one is this? Oh, this is the butter crunch and then arugula. And then we have Brussels sprouts. We still have our celosia. And then we have kale back here, which I'm hoping to get some collards to go in the back. And then on either side over here, and over there, we have cauliflower. Here is, I forgot already, more cauliflower, right? I think this is, yeah, this is more cauliflower. And sorry, Jay's raking. And um, then over here we have the broccoli at front. No, the whole thing is broccoli. Cool. And then these are just my herbs that are like hanging on. This one's doing well, the rosemary, but the basil. Thinned it out the other day, but it probably needs a little more work and um, some time. But I'm gonna try to fill that in with a few more herbs. Who is that? Who is that? <gasps> Who is this? Huh? This is my baby. Are you my baby boy? I love you. Do you want to go on a walk? You do? You do? <gasps> Oh, hi. Let's go on a walk. Okay? Have to keep this little baby gate slash puppy gate up because someone likes to run away and he's afraid of it. But I'll put him on a leash and take him on a walk. Right? This little guy is waiting for his breakfast, but you still have to wait some more time. That's the hardest thing for him. He has to take his medicine and then wait a whole hour before he can have his breakfast. And you slept in this morning, so you still have to wait. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Bubba. We'll take it in just a few minutes. 
but I wanted to show you guys. This is like really full, but I have been making, I love this cup, so I've, this is like just one of those Starbucks tumblers. But for making iced coffee, it's really nice because it doesn't spill and it's like heavy duty and it has a straw and all the things. But I have been making, oh, I probably just lost my page, nope. This um, iced caramel latte from Kristen Cavallari's True Roots Cookbook. Um, here's like a sneak peek at the little recipe, but she has her own caramel recipe in here. This is the first recipe I've made from the book and it's so good, but I have been trying to decide like what other meals I want to make and I'm not really sure because they're all really like healthy, <laughs> um, but I figured I would share with you that since you know, I have been trying to get off of like the Starbucks thing. Jay literally drinks the Starbucks almost every single day, which is fine. But for me, my skin has just not been doing so well. And so the caramel that you make is made with coconut cream or no coconut milk and um, coconut sugar. And then you put like a little bit of vanilla extract in that. And then you use that in here, which I've been using this for like over a week. And um, you use like the a few tablespoons of the caramel, the add some coconut milk from the can, and then um, some Nespresso, but I've really been liking that. I need to paint my nails. They've been doing so much better. I'll show you what I've been using in a few minutes, but um, yeah, so I need to take a shower because we're off to a late start this morning. Aren't we? Do we get a late start? It needs Tuesday, and this week has not been going well because we've been waking up so late. And by late, I mean we didn't wake up until 7 o'clock. Right? Right? Okay, I feed you breakfast now. Hi, guys. Okay, so I picked up my camera this morning when I was making my coffee, but I haven't picked up my camera since, and I'm looking for my memory card, um, which I just got. But so first thing you probably will notice is that my hair is darker. I went and had my hair done yesterday. I styled it this morning, but literally I just put it up in a clip because um, I was eating some lunch and I'm gonna try to take some pictures. I purchased a new photo editing like templates for Lightroom. I have done that before, but I wasn't crazy about the ones I purchased and I just purchased some more and I really loved them. So I wanted to see if I could snap a few photos of our garden to do a post on our blog. I'm not sure that I will. I'll let you know in the, this vlog if I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna just play around with my camera for a little bit in the editing software um, just to see what I get and see how, you know, just practice with it. I have a couple things planned for the afternoon, but I don't know that I'm gonna get to them, but we will see, and I'm just gonna bring you along for another day. My hair is a little crazy. Anyways, I fixed my makeup. I did, I did not take pictures of the garden. I took a few test ones of the front porch, but I still wanna do some work to it. I'm like one of those people that nothing is ever complete. I'm like constantly tweaking. I just, that's what I like to do. So, I made our apple crisp. Let me turn on this light and show you because hopefully by the time this recipe goes up, or this vlog goes up, I will have put the recipe up on my blog. So here is the apple crisp. It's kind of like funny colored because this light is really yellow, but I had originally put this recipe on my blog so many years ago and I decided to, whoo, the pictures were really outdated and I've made some tweaks to the recipe so I decided to just go ahead and like rebake it, reshoot it and republish it because I feel like a lot of my older recipes and things like that don't necessarily get seen a ton on my blog and I always get a lot of requests for recipes. Sorry I'm touching my hair so much. It's like whenever you get your hair done it takes like a few days to get used to it. But anyways, so after shooting the pictures it's always like massive cleanup from a mess. I'll try to insert a picture here from like one of the ones I shot, but I'll leave a link to that recipe in the description bar. Like I said, that should be up definitely by the time this vlog goes up, so that's cool. Also, got some Reese pumpkins in there. The seasonal ones are the best, hands down. I'm just putting everything back on our table. It's kind of a mess, but this is, Jay's out there pacing on the phone for work. I usually just kind of style it. Nothing fancy. I love this clear little pumpkin. You can get them so many places. I'll link down one down below, but um, our salt and pepper shakers, and then I keep like little candles here, and we'll occasionally write them, or not write them, light them for Jay and I at dinner time. So that's about it. I'm gonna edit these pictures now on my computer. Just 
going to take an editing break from some photos my parents came by a few minutes ago and I'm gonna give Diesel his pill and I'm gonna show you what I'm cooking for dinner. So, but first it's pill time, right? It's pill time. Okay. Oh, that is, I need a mitt. I am making chicken tacos. So what I do is I just buy the taco seasoning. I think it, I don't know, I buy ones at Whole Foods. I buy, but I think it's called El Paso or Old El Paso, just like I'm buying. Um, anything like that and I put a package of chicken, so like two chicken breasts or three small ones. I did three small ones today because that's what was in the package from Whole Foods. And I put the amount of water that says on the package, which is two thirds cup. And I let it cook in my amazing slow cooker. I talk about this all the time, so you're probably tired of hearing about it, but it's so good because this little like cast iron insert comes out and so you can cook on the stove. But it's been on low, I set it on low for eight hours. So it's been on since about 11 this morning. And, or probably, t no, it was like 10.45. It has two hours and 38 minutes left. The chicken is done. But what I'm gonna do, let me show you the chicken. So, this is what the chicken looks like. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shred it. Once it's like basically done cooking, I shred it and let it sit in like the juice and continue to cook for probably another hour or so until we're ready to eat. So let me shred it really quick. All right, so it's all shredded up and I just use a fork. Oh, I use two forks. Whoops, sorry, the camera is fogging up. I just use two forks and shred it, but um, I'm just gonna give it a little stir and then let it continue to cook for probably another hour or so. Okay, I made my little tacos. Well, they're not little, they're actually really big, um, but they're really good. We are getting ready to go to the doctor, right? Are you going to the doctor? Are you going to the vet? Whoa. Okay, Diesel has a vet appointment this morning at nine, so we're getting ready to leave the house. Last night, the wind was unreal, so that hurricane, I think it's called Michael, was coming through. And we've had quite a few trees down. Jay was cutting down a tree at like 6.30 this morning. Um, because one of our trees fell right in the middle of the road. So he sawed it up, pulled it out of the way. That was very nice of him to do. And yeah, so we had a couple more down, which I'll show you when we get back from the vet. But right now, we gotta go, so we're not late, right? Also, we went all over this morning find, trying to find a Starbucks because like every single Starbucks, we went to two Starbucks and they were both closed before we found one that was open. Um, and we had already driven like quite a ways, so. We were like, we're determined to find one that's open. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna go to the vet and then I'll show you when we get home some of the trees that fell, if you're interested, we'll see. I'll show you one that was kind of like scary for me because I just don't, you know, I don't think anybody loves a lot of wind with the trees near their house. So I'll show you one that made me a little bit nervous. Are you ready to go to the vet? Oh, that's a sweet kiss. That's a sweet kiss. It's, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you're a good boy. You got your little harness on. You're so cute. You're such a cute guy, aren't you? Let's go. I'll give you a treat before we go. I'll give you a treat. Oh, do you want a treat? You do? You're so cutie. Did you go to the vet? Did you get a good appointment? Or did you have a good appointment? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, but give me a treat. You want a treat? Whoa. For once, they said you were healthy and you didn't need to lose weight yeah. or gain weight. You look so sharp. Yeah. You're a healthy guy. A yeah. Stud. You little stud muffin. All right, I'm gonna give him the branches. Okay. I'm gonna go take a picture and show what? You don't want to um, share with the vlog family our tree, our uh, our tree. So we fared pretty well compared to most people, but I'm not gonna lie. You can hear generators running. That it was a I'm not a fan of the wind, and I really found that out. So let me show you the tree that fell and just how close it fell to our bedroom. This is our bedroom right here. 
this is the tree that fell. I guess it's really not that like that close, but if you can see, this is the like part of the tree, so it just snapped off right there. But Jay said even if it did hit the house, it wouldn't probably come through, but it still was scary. Hearing the wind and hearing things like crack, you could hear it like and then you just like waited to hear it fall which is like kind of crazy but you know that's that